the 8.7% pay increase is not good enough. Not even close to make us start flirting with you. That's the message from the Kenya police to the government. After last week, it offered 3.7 billion Kenya shillings as a pay increase. And the police are now saying that they will grind the whole country to a halt. A week after the government said it was releasing the money and backdating it to November 2012, the police promised to go on a nationwide strike tomorrow. In one of the many SMS text messages making rounds amongst police officers, they encourage each other to go on strike, saying, Officers, you can imagine how life is difficult and the MPs are taking us for a ride. The administration police, regular police, general service unit or prison warders, tomorrow is the D-Day. We want our 42%. Our officers are being killed at the expense of protecting the citizens, but there is no life insurance cover, working long hours on patrol and escort, protecting embassies and being paid peanuts. No looking back from tomorrow. Send these to 10 officers. Another message was warning officers who will report on duty that they will be marked as betrayers and cowards, saying they will jump police communication as they did last week and paralyze various security operations. Internal Security Minister Katole Metito, since announcing the salary package, continues to be mum of the Goslo issue and the 42% increase police are demanding. The Ghost Law is now threatening to ground the national examinations, with the writers of the text message threatening officers who will be on duty tomorrow. For News at 8, I'm Dennis Okari.